Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is revisiting some old files that I forgot I had that somebody brought to my attention because they messaged me on Discord and asked, hey, do you have these files? I know you are kind of a file hoarder. They were right. I'm a file hoarder. Uh, hoar, hoar. Can I use that word in the first two minutes of a YouTube video? Hoarder. Hoarder. I have a speech impediment, YouTube. Do not flag my video for the word whore. Um, order. Order. Anyway, these files, old game called Crossfire Zero. It was supposed to be a sequel to the game Crossfire. And was going to be a uh, like battle royale similar to Apex, I guess. I never actually got to play it. I made an account. It was ran through a company called Stove for the Southeast Asian market, apparently, but never actually, it, it ran from March until October of 2020. That's it. This game was available for a couple months. That's it. So, I found the files. I mean, the guns and weapons look sweet. Found the files, thanks to the guy asking me for them. Totally forgot that they were uploaded to my supported releases section on my uh, GitHub. So that was kind of awesome. I'm glad that I'm a hoarder. And I want to mess with these files again. What I need help with is anybody that has old school Unity DLL modding knowledge, or I guess it's coding, sort of. It's been too long. I will admit it. I want to bypass the XIGN code because I want to be able to potentially launch the game without the anti-cheat running. Because right now if you launch the game, it gives you basically an error in the game, or error upon launch. And what the error does is it basically just doesn't let the game launch because the server doesn't exist for XIGN to actually download its files. Now luckily these files that I have they were official files they were ran at least once so everything is there from the one time that this game was ran so all the xign files are here that had to be downloaded from the server at least once i can't get it to um bypass and actually uh play the game though or go anything beyond that because of it being protected by that anti-cheat. Now, file structure, pretty simple compared to your normal Unity stuff. I'll put it right in the middle for you. It's your standard Unity files that you always see. Uh, there is like a config folder right here, which they are all encrypted with basic base 64. I do have them decrypted. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I forgot to bring these over here. So I'm going to make a folder real quick. Decrypted. I made a decryptor a long time back. And I need to find it again. I'm sure I shared it with somebody. This is what the uh, decrypted files look like. I was really tempted to figure out what these could also be back in the day. But never actually got the chance. As you can see, this is what it looks like uh, encrypted, and then that's decrypted. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. The server, uh, the ports, the bundle configs. This is the like settings address for the launcher. Default server, obviously. Gateway info. And publisher info, which... What? It's directly to an IP address. I wonder if that brings up anything anymore. I kind of doubt it. We can always archive.org it. Sometimes archive has this stuff, but I doubt it. It's not going to, so I'm not that worried about it. Anyway, yeah. So that's the basic files that are decrypted and then we can see like combined data I've never seen that file before I'm not that worried about it 
If you go under bundle though, you will notice that everything was a .unity 3D file. So if I had something like Unity Asset Studio, which actually, wait, I might. Yeah, I do. It's an old version, but I have it. I should be able to drag and drop these into here, and we can see what they are. We go asset list, we can do size, largest first. Uh, so that's a texture for a gun. Yes, that is a texture for a gun. I like how they kept, I guarantee you all they did was convert the Crossfire 3D models because look at the file names. Player view underscore M4A it's literally that's literally how it was named in and then this would be player worldview what in the hell is that head oh cool so yeah we can see a bunch of stuff in here so it's really cool to see i guarantee you they just i think that's what they did they just converted the 3d models or kept the file name structure of standard uh crossfire because as you can see, it's it looks like a crossfire weapon. It's named in a similar way. This is player view world, player view. Not surprising. Let's go to something bigger. Uh, if we can find anything bigger. Oh, this has some stuff in it. Texture. This is asset stuff. I want like the, oh, okay, I see. Hold on, mesh. There we go. That's the actual meshed gun. Dude, that thing is sick looking. Seriously though. That is sweet. That is a nice 3D model. I know some people are gonna want this stuff from me. All the textures are here, all the different skins. Man, this probably was a, oh, what the fuck? It's like a dragon gun. Look at the front of that thing. What in the shit were they doing to this game? Wow, I've been trying not to swear in my videos. Boy, did that just go out the window because I'm half asleep while I'm recording this. What? Dude, these guns are wicked. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to pause this video because I want to send screenshots to somebody on my Discord and see if they're interested in any of these 3D models for uh, Gary's mod conversions. Give me one second because this stuff is sweet. He's going to love it. Okay, I'm back now. I didn't actually expect him to respond this late at night. Anyway... Yeah, some these weapons are sick. I mean, this is just the M4A1. Yeah, this is just the M4A1. There's so much cool stuff. Oh, wait, no, there's more guns in here. Oh, this, uh, yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here. This is sick. Let's open up an, uh, some other stuff here. So that's bundles. Let's see, scenes. Oh, boy. Uh, this is going to take a minute to open, I think. Yep. This is going to take a fat minute. I should not have opened one that was 300 megabytes. There we go. You know me. I go by size. Size matters, kids. Whoa. Yep, this is part of a map. Many parts of a map, I should say. What? It's gigantic. Oh, yeah, because it was a battle royale. It's going to be gigantic. What am I thinking? Good Lord, rebuilding this would be a nightmare. Ooh, hidden stuff. Weird. Audio clips. Hold on, hold on. We're going to play these audio clips. I'm going to pause myself, though. You guys should be able to hear them. One sec. Okay, it's just boring stuff. Got it. I muted my mic because I wanted to be able to hear them too. Uh, here's a drain way. So it's basically white noise. Any of y'all just want that on loop so you can go to bed at night? Be my guest. Wind sounds.
I unmuted it at the wrong time and hit the wrong button. I want to find, like, ambient music or something, because that sounds funny. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. I should not have started with uh, the 300 megabyte file. Anyway, tutorial area. We'll do that. That'll be simple. Why has it got mono behaviors in here? That's weird. The textures are sweet. Different light maps. Ah, oh, the... Okay, so it's a very simple... It's like Combat Arms uh, training area. Yeah, just like Combat Arms training area. Actually, isn't that basically Crossfire's training area? No, it's not. I don't remember anything from Crossfire. It's been way too long. The wooden stuff that goes inside the building. That's sweet. Other object. Uh, the basic room structure, I'm guessing. Hmm. Yeah, this, uh, this looks like it would have been really sweet. And I would really like to... Satellite? I'm down for looking at satellites. Uh, whoa, cool map. Why does it look a little bit like Junk Flea? Like if Junk Flea was an airport. This is what I would imagine it as. Actually kind of sick. I like it. And this is all the metal stuff. This is sweet, man. Anyway, I've had enough fun with the 3D files. Um, let's see what else there is in these bundles. There's sound files. Oh, the weapon sounds. Okay. Ah, background music. Let's see what their background music sounded like. You know me, biggest to smallest. Here's the lobby. One sec. All right, I totally get the Marvel vibe they were going for. Um, let's see, Lobby A. As somebody who does a lot with music in my life, I do not like that. It's the bass hits were like offbeat. In some weird way, I did not like that. Uh, there's a whole bunch of out of game sound effect. Okay. I wonder if out game meant something different. Let's see. Well, we did look a lot at the M4A1. Let's see what the. Uh gunshot sounded like with it I guess all right let's go so inspection silencer El Dorado let's see three second clip whatever all right so I guess that's maybe for installing the silencer this is for putting a clip in the bottom of the gun so I'm guessing like reload sort of thing You know, without the animation in the 3D model and the gun, it sounds really weird. Uh, let's see. We'll see what it sounded like to shoot it in the game. Sounds exactly the same as Combat Arms. <laughs> what was I expecting? Anyway. Uh, let's see, we went through the scenes already, there's the effect files, which I'm not really going to go through, there's not going to be anything fun in there. Let's look at some player models. This will be sweet. Uh, I want mesh. That's just hands. Hands, man. Hands. Just hands. Mr. Hands. Don't Google that. Ah, here's a player without a head. Set up a very similar to combat arms and crossfire, of course, no head. Alright, that's what I expected. 
Oh, he's got the little flip hair. Look at one of the female players, too. Hands and arms and a T pose. Cool. Here's the body. Not gonna lie, kind of packing. Uh, also kind of packing. The helmet. Oh, those are cool. Although, wait, they're backwards. So what? This part would go behind your head. This attaches to your ear. And then this is where your face would be. What a weird way to set up the 3D model and then have to pointlessly animate it later to put it on the head. Here's the face. Standard female video game face. Makes sense. Cool. Uh, was there anything cool? SWAT. Nothing that I see that was interesting. I don't know what this axe stuff was. Let's see. Oh, okay, it's just another player player model. Also packing. <laughs> this is just how I get this late at night. You know, the player models and stuff in this are actually, they're really good. They really are. The arms, sick. Honestly, I would really like to try to play this. What in the hell is this? Oh, it's like a healing thing. Okay. Kind of like the health packs and combat arms, I'm guessing. Supporters. This game was a little special effecty. Got it. Hmm. Okay. Cool. So that's a lot of the stuff in the bundle files. But of course, there's always this stuff. The screen selector. That's the wallpaper. If anybody wants it, I can upload it separately. But your basic stuff. Obviously, there's the streaming assets. Your normal stuff in a Unity game. Um... Nothing all that special here. But obviously, there's your managed. There's where all your code is for your standard stuff. I don't know why they included the SDK config. What in the hell? Man. I wish I would have known about this URL back when the game was up. I wonder if there would have been anything there that... Why does it still download? What? Access denied. Okay, so you know what we do when we have access denied is we throw it in here. And we do this. See if it's ever been picked up. It has not. Okay. So... You can do some fun stuff. Go to My Web Archives. Go to Save and Share. Do Outlinks, Screenshot, Save to My Web Result. Put this here. And we just get rid of the end of it here. Then we just do Save Page. And we can actually use archive.org to scan the website itself to see what we potentially find. Let's see what this is. Is it exactly the same? It's not. Yo. Okay. Definitely not the same. Live zero. Hmm. Log out on register. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Very interesting. Interesting indeed. So now what we can do is we can go visit this URL. Or at least see what it found by just doing this. Hmm. Maybe it just didn't save it all yet. But you can generally use archive.org to dig around on URLs if you don't otherwise know what's what. But like I said, I would like to remove the... 
uh, XIGN code. I just don't know enough about anti-cheat bypassing to know what to look for as far as searching in the code for wherever XIGN might be. Because, like, in my head, I would just search, like, XIGN, but I feel like that's probably wrong. Yeah, X comes after W, so I literally am looking for XIGN code, and it's not here. Um, maybe there's anti-cheat? I don't know. I just don't know anything about searching for this kind of stuff. I know there's a whole bunch of code in here. I know at one point I did actually make like an ESP. I don't think my ESP ever bypassed. Uh, well, the ESP bypassed the anti-cheat, but um, that was as far as it went. Uh, it was made by a friend of mine called OctoWolf. Very simple. Uh, it was a mod menu. Okay. Well, that's cool. That was the main mod menu. The loader. He knew more than I did, so he made it. And some other just standard documents and stuff. But yeah, that doesn't have any bypass in it. That's going to like remove the anti-cheat or anything. I'm sure I can dig around on Google or like Yandex or some game hacking forums and learn how to crack this. Uh, but if I'm honest with you guys, I don't really have time. Like, I'm making this video at 1.40 in the morning. What do you guys think? I, <laughs> I clearly have no time to myself. But uh, my player. Yeah, like, all the code is here. You can mess with it all day, every day. There were so many exploits in this game. They never obfuscated the code, which was probably one of their big downfalls for a reason that it didn't stay around very long. You know, it looks like it could have been a cool game, and I would have definitely given it a shot. <laughs> Get it? Because it's got guns in it. World models. Yeah, there's so much vehicles. Dude, combat arms with vehicles in maps big enough to support the vehicles. I'm thinking vehicles... I want to combine vehicle physics of Halo Combat Evolved with the guns, player models, and map styles of like combat arms. <laughs> I wonder if that's what this was. I doubt it. They probably just took some game, reskinned it, and put the Crossfire 3D models into it, and then that was it. But, you know, who knows? But yeah, if you know anything about bypassing this anti-cheat, hit me up or leave a comment in the uh, description or the comments section below the video or wherever it is on your thingamajiggy. And game system. Respawn stuff. Like, there's so much you could probably have done with this. Kind of ridiculous. Here's all your connection config for, like, server connector and all that. Like, there's so much... Yeah, here's all your service I and I loading all this stuff. Um, I'll recreate the encryptor and decryptor for this. Maybe at some point, if somebody steps forward and actually wants to mess with this with me, I bet you we could maybe enable gameplay on this with like Unity 3D's default built-in servers uh, through like some sort of debugging because it looks like. I opened up the assembly C sharp first pass and a lot of the default stuff from unity 3d is in here. Um, and they never removed it. Battleground to client. Oh God, that's huge. Why? Proxy, a whole bunch of, oh, okay. This is just like all the communication of the servers and other players. Cool. I mean, I'm sure it's possible to figure stuff out, but as of this moment right now, I would love to figure out how to maybe run it just client side. And I'm gonna mess with it more, I'll see what I can do. But until I can figure out at least a way to launch the game, honestly, I'm kinda dead in the water, obviously. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Hopefully I can have some good news in the future on this game. Hope you enjoyed, peace out.